In this video, I am going to show you how to make a multi-product drop shipping store using WordPress. This tutorial is going to be a continuation of a tutorial I've already made on dropshipping. And this particular website was about a single product dropshipping store. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to expand your single product dropshipping store into a multi-product dropshipping store. And I'll leave a link to this tutorial in the description down below so that you can watch it and build upon it. The online store is already designed. All what we need to do is add our product to the existing one. So at the moment, if you go to the shop page, you see a single product. So I'm going to show you how you can add extra products to your store. And I'll also show you how you can tweak your home page to feature some of your products. So if you want to learn how to create a multi-product dropshipping online store, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Tiku Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to create our multi-product dropshipping website, first of all, you need to log into your SUC dashboard so as you can see in here i have only one product and that is the same product you are seeing right here perfect and i've already identified the products i want to add to my store which i've already shown you during my last tutorial so without wasting further time let's go ahead and add our products to our store so take note, first of all, you need to import these products to SUC and later you go ahead to SUC and add them to your store. So what I need to do is just click on this icon right here. If you watch the previous tutorial, you know what that means. So I click on it and it is important to SUC. So as it is important, you can go ahead and import the rest of the products. So I go to the next one and I click on the icon right here. This icon, take note, is an SGC icon. It's just an add-on you need to add to your Google Chrome browser. So it is imported. So I'll do the same thing to the rest of them. So while it's still importing, let's go to SGC and check up the already imported ones. So you see that now I have six imported. I click on it. Okay, the rest are also imported. So what I need to do is push all these products to my store by just clicking on this icon. If you also want, you can go ahead and edit your titles because AliExpress, they come out with weird titles, which I've already shown you in the previous tutorial. So let me show you how to change the title of a particular product so that I take care of the rest. So I'll click on edit imported product and this is my title here. So I will make it car air humidifier. So I will remove all this. Maybe I don't need home. So I'll make it USB car air humidifier. You can sync the price and then the stock as well, then you save it. It's saved, I close it up and I push it to my store. So as you see, it's doing its thing right here. I can go ahead and work on the rest. So I'll change the titles to all the products and get back to you. Okay, I've pushed all my products to my store. So I exit out of here. I don't need these pages anymore. So I'll go over to my products page or my shop page and refresh the page. Perfect. However, these prices you are seeing right here are the default prices from AliExpress. So we need to change them to our own pricing so that we can add our profit margin. Awesome. So 
So I go over to the back end of my website and I go to products. So this is my first product. I'll just go ahead and edit the rest of them. So I right click this and open it in a new tab. Maybe I don't need this image in the description. So I'll just take it off. I'll change the category to air purifier. And I don't want to make this product a variable product. I don't want my buyers to be choosing from so many variations. So I'll just keep it as a simple product. And let's check the price of this product. It starts from $2 to $8. So I'll make my regular price $80. And the sale price, I make it $58. Point nine nine, maybe eighty two will be eighty point nine nine. Now go ahead and update it. Let's view the product. Perfect. So it's no more available product. I exit out of here. And I'll go ahead and change the prices to all the products and get back to you. Okay, I've changed the prices to all my products. The next thing I'm going to do is to display some of the products on my home page. So I'm on the home page of my website. I click on edit with Elementor. So since this website is no more about a particular single product I can remove the features here then I display some of my products on the home page so I click on the plus icon right here to be able to add a new section and I click on add section then I choose single column now I can go ahead and exit this particular section I'll go to elements and I drag in the heading elements I center it and I change the text to featured products I'll go to style and I change the color to black and the typography I change it to Montserrat click here I have one start right here. Next, I go over to elements again. Then I grab the text editor and drop it right here. So this is where I'm going to display my products. So I go over to Google to search for WooCommerce short codes. I'll go ahead and click on the very first one. Let's scroll down. To example of product scenarios. And I'll grab best selling products. So I'll just select it. Right click on it, copy, go back to my website, take note we are under visual, click on text, then remove all this, and I paste in my short code, update it, and let's go to the home page of our website to see how it will come up. Okay, this is how it will appear. Let's create some spacing up here and also down here. So I'll go back to Elementor. So I click on Edit Section right here. Then I go over to Advanced. I will delink the values here. Then Top, I make it 50. And Bottom, I make it 25. Perfect. 
or better so the number of products to be displayed here i can change them so i click on the pencil icon then i go to content text so currently it is showing three products and it is as a result of product limits right here so i change the three to eight and the number of columns i make it four so i will now have eight products being displayed updates let's go ahead and refresh our page awesome this is perfect so this is how you can display some of the products on the home page of your website even though you can make one of your product as your flagship product but you can go ahead and change this buy now button to point to the shop page of your website currently this is pointing to this particular product if i click on buy now so it will take me to this product but if i want all the call to action buttons to point to the shop page of my website how do i achieve that so i go back to elementor then i click on the buy now button so in here then i remove it then i search for shop and then the shop page will pop up i click on it so the text i'll change it to shop now then here maybe this particular one i'll leave it since i want to keep one of the product as my flagship product okay this one too i'll change it to shop now and i'll change the link to shop perfect and i'll leave the rest as they are update can preview it so if i click on shop now it will take me to the shop page of my website awesome so now that we are done with altering our home page let's go ahead and do some customizations this buy now button points to the first product i don't want it that way i want to make it shop now so that it will point to the shop page of my website I click on customize then I go ahead and edit the header by clicking on the pencil icon right here now I have my button in here I click on it in the text I change it to shop now the link I'll go and grab my shop page link let me go to the back end I'll get it from there just click on visit shop and this is the link I select it I click copy go back to customizer then I paste it in here so my button is now shop now publish it is published I exit out of here so if you said go to my website now instead of buy now you can now go to shop now let's try out the button perfect so i exit out of here 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 and here as well so that's it guys on how to create a multi-product dropshipping website so take note this tutorial is being built on a previous tutorial i've made on how to create a single product dropshipping store and now we have expanded the website into a multi-product dropshipping store and i hope you enjoyed the tutorial so this brings us to the end of this tutorial and i hope you found value if you did kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i make a new video on this channel you'll be the first to know keep watching and i'll see you in the next one